This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Note, these items have no specific recommendation concerning their inspection or renewal. However, we consider it prudent to carry out these tasks at least every four years. Due to their function and construction, the belts are prone to failure after a period of time and should be inspected periodically to prevent problems. Pull the bonnet release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Lift the bonnet safety latch and raise the bonnet upwards. Remove the engine cover by pulling the front firmly upwards to disengage the grommets, then slide the cover outwards. Remove the air inlet fasteners Then slide the cover towards the engine and disengage the tube leading to the air filter to remove it. With the engine stopped, using your fingers and a flashlight if necessary, move along the belts, checking for cracks, splitting and fraying on the surface of the belt. Check also for signs of glazing, shiny patches and separation of the belt plies. If damage or wear is visible, the belt should be renewed. If the drive belt is to be reused, mark the running direction of the belt before removal. Rotate the tensioner clockwise using a socket on the hexagonal lug. Then slide the drive belt from the pulleys, noting its routing before removal. If desired to aid refitting, the tensioner can be compressed fully and locked in position using a metal rod engaged with the holes in the tensioner and backplate. Note that the tensioner has a powerful spring, so a strong rod or drill bit will be required. Engage the belt with the pulleys, ensuring it is rooted as noted before removal. Make sure that the belt engages correctly with the grooves in the pulleys. Where applicable, Compress the tensioner until the locking rod can be removed, then withdraw the rod and release the tensioner. Refit the air inlet, connecting the tube near the air filter and securing the necessary fasteners. Refit the engine cover by first sliding in the tabs at the rear of the engine, then aligning the grommets and pushing the front of the cover downwards at both ends to secure it. 